everybody, what's happening? I love music just as much as I love wine. And in fact, I think there are some parallels between the two. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to use some of the concepts behind music to describe a really great glass of wine. Stick around. So, what makes a great wine great? Well, in a word, balance. When it comes to music, you're probably familiar with the terms bass, middle range, and treble, right? Well, let me show you something. Bass notes are just that, they're the bass. They're a solid foundation that the rest of the music can be built on top of. Well, wine needs a bass too, a founding structure that everything else can be built on top of. And that comes in the form of alcohol and in red wines, tannins. In music, the mid-range is often where the melody resides, the vocals or whatever lead instrument it is. This is where things start to get a little bit more complex. When it comes to wine, your mid-range is flavor. That's right, all those different flavor descriptors you hear people talking about, like peaches and watermelons and stone fruit, red currants and oak, those all determine the overall complexity of the wine. They are like a little melody playing in your mouth. <laughs> But not least, let's not forget about treble, our high end. In a wine, your treble range is all about your acid and your sugar. These are light, airy flourishes, finishing touches that are necessary in order for the entire flavor profile to be well balanced. If they weren't there, the wine would probably seem out of proportion and probably a little too bottom heavy. So how do you know when you taste a great wine? Well, pretty much the same way you know when you hear a great piece of music. It's all about the balance. All the different layers of the spectrum have been represented and they exist together in harmony. Okay, sorry, I was just showing off there. But there are some wines out there that feel like that in your mouth. Hey now. <laughs> I think it's a fun idea to look at wine in terms of music. When you see it that way, you know that you're looking for balance. You're looking for melody. You're looking for harmony. You're looking for complexity. It's interesting to see each wine has its own song. There's a story in that bottle, and the winemaker and the grapes are trying to sing it in their own particular style. What does it say to you? How does it move you? All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Hope you learned something. And if you have anything you want to share, please drop it in the comments section below. Show me a little love, give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing here. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please. Thanks so much. I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers.